Vámonos, güey. He's stuck. There we go. Yep. He went back there. No, uh, no. He saw me. Damn it. He saw me. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. I got my feet ring, so hopefully he doesn't track me. Damn. I'm not sure the farts are doing anything. I don't think it's hitting him. Yeah, I'll fix that. Yeah, it looks like it's not even landing. Wait, does that work on him? I don't know. I got death cloud. I got a little bit of Oh, wow. You're using cloud. everything on him. <laughs> I mean, his uh, HP isn't running that fast, and it's only going down 5 HP per second. I don't even know if death cloud works on him. What level of guess was this with the Lurker of the Flame? I'm just staying back here in this corner so he don't touch me. Have an incredible amount of arrows. Oh, oh, he's winning. Here in this corner. Doesn't seem to. Be. Oh no! Wait, wait, no no no! Wait, stay wait, stay! Wait. Don't move! Don't move! Don't move! Okay, move. We do the same thing. Woo! I dodged that. Man, this barbecue is not fun. Oh, wait, 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 Here. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to activate the uh I'm gonna put my rat, but... Please stay over there. Do not move. I'm I'm okay. talking to him of course, but Alright. I think we're just gonna poison and get her over with it's the, it's take longer, but it's it's better than uh dying. Yeah, especially when I'm running so low, and I ain't trying to s s s scum upload over and over. Wait. Okay, there we go. Now it's doing its thing. All right. Grab a coffee. Grab a snack. I'm about to grab some. <laughs> chill now. You're like just, just, just chill. We just watch him dissipate. It's like, meanwhile, 
We just, we just watch him just slowly dissipate. You guys aren't playing the game right. Suck. Listen. My left nut. These games were paid for. We play them however we see fit. If you don't like it, I <coughs> command y'all to suck on my dick. That's it. Best part is I'm doing this on Twitch so that way when it comes to editing and stuff, I can splice and move things a lot better. The only thing yeah, I hate about I YouTube is that like full stream, yeah, I gotta wait 24 hours just to edit, blah 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 blah. With Elden Ring, I'm fine with that, but when it comes to this game, I'm like, no, no, no. God. It's like it's childproof. There we go. <clears throat> Yep, that's right, folks. This, we, we call this uh, poison cheese and chill. <laughs> that's what we're calling this. Funny part is if I use uh, iMovie and then do like a, like a fast forward version of this. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, shit. You gotta recharge your magic, boy. No, I hit, I hit the wrong thing. I was about to almost slash him. Uh-oh. It's like, wrong thing. <laughs> Last thing I need is for him to turn around, but like... Hey, you motherfucker. Yeah, let, me, let me just go light a candle or something. <laughs> prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. That, that's all we doing today. Thoughts and prayers, but I don't do nothing. Sitting around wearing a vagina hat doesn't do anything either. Oh man, I remember that. Oh, I remember those days. They thought they were raw and tough just because they were wearing a vagina hat to protest the, the, the oppression of orange men, big patriarchy, whatever. I'm telling you, man. It's, those are the days when me magic was real and powerful. I had meaning. <laughs> oh shit! We're just, we're just. Wait, you gotta apply some more. It stops sucking. Full homo. There we go. Back to the barbecue. Another nine hundred from that. Nine hundred meth. What? That sounds like a like a toll free number. Well, in my world, I was getting nine hundred damage with that. Yeah, it's just right now because my world is black. Well, yeah, it's pure black. It's so black you can see like the red embers inside the eye of the world. Oh yeah, that means it's all the way. Yep. Yeah, this ain't. This isn't even just get good. This is like just survive. I mean, he killed the iron spider with ease, but this one this is a rumbling. This is, probably the, this is probably the only one I can't just run up to and just one shot. I know this one. You gotta just cheese, or you gotta hit and run. I ain't about that running life, no. Nah. Cause even the gargoyles, I could fucking, I could beat the shit out of them. Oh, the van, the the vanguard gargoyles. Oh, they ain't shit. They're easy. I beat them first time. I was like, oh, these guys are easy. Don't get it wrong, Black Roll Tennessee, they're they're beefy. Yeah, that that's when I know they're hard. But when when I was uh, fighting them, and my world was like, uh, what you call neutral white, whatever, they were easy as pie. Like, I was like, they're big garbage. You ain't nothing. You just garbage. Just garbage. Man, this is one long, painful death. 
Or like they say in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, thankful death. People hate it on Dark Souls too. Yeah. You could think having an ice effect in Elden Ring because of Dark Souls too. Yeah. Oh, the Frostbite. Yep. Yeah. I remember when the DLC came out in Dark Souls 2 yeah. and I was doing the game frost damage. I was like, fuck. Fuck. Because it was the so pain. fucking different. Tank and a half in Black World Tendency. He's gotta be from Brooklyn or Bronx. Cause niggas from Staten Island got no HP. <laughs> I'm looking at like Flame Lurker's data, like in New Game, he has 3,720 HP. New Game Plus, he has 4,903. Oh, he has strong resistance against poison, plague, bleed. Yep, especially plague. Slash is what. Uh, oh, he's resistance against slash, but he, I mean, but his defense. Strike will, will hurt him. Pierce will hurt him. Uh, nah, he has... Striking is the best thing against him. That's weird. Fire doesn't do shit to him. Clearly. Yep. Uh, better to deal with a flame worker face to face. Often after attacking or being hit. I to jump backwards or to either side. So don't be caught off guard and stay in front. Only time you want to be behind him is when you have rolled under him and are attacking. God. You're aiming to be flame resistant and mobile, which means you can roll smoothly. One flame resistant shield and a magical melee weapon, an example of the hands of God, which you can get right before the fight. To so this weapon, you'll need to get a close attack, but for new players, might be the only option. And flame and resistance too. You can equip the black leather set or whatever you can get away with before facing the ability. Defensive meaning keeping your shield up and on the move constantly, avoiding his attacks when possible. You're only attacking him after it's one move. Pounce. When you see him starting to do a big jump, roll forward. You roll under his jump and you'll end up behind him, leaving him open to attack. You should be able to hit him three or four times with your hands of God or your preferred magical weapon. Don't well, deplete all your stamina on the attacks. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't never done none of that. And then someone has a dragon spine strategy. Which is flame resistance, purple flame shield, or long sword, or weapon of equivalent reach. See, if not for the weight, I would have brought the, the, the dragon bone masher with me. What do you mean what happened? The pillars in the room are your best friend. Relax. I'll, get, I'll do it. This side of the pillar from you will quickly lose track of your position. Proceed to sit still and do nothing. Approach him from behind. Two-handed and attack a couple of times. Shield up. Run away. Hide. That's too much work. Damn. Having water veil would have been great. Light See all those switch. methods? All those methods? Uh -huh. Too much work. They're what? I'm eating. That's too much work. I'm eating <laughs> chips. Watching, You're like, that's too die. much work. <laughs> we have a meat cleaver plus the sticky white stuff. It will stagger even with a light hit. 
If you have endurance, you can stagger them until it dies. Low on endurance, move on a circle again. You can get them to follow you on the side. We'll get stuck in the bottom steps in front of you and gallop in place for a while. We are both in place, start firing. Use soul arrow, soul ray, homing soul arrow, or bow. It's weak to holy arrows. After a while, it'll hop to your right, pause, and hop back to the left. Gallop in front of you. Leave him alone while it's hopping. Just shoot him when he's directly in front of you. Eventually, it'll stop that nonsense and charge you. You have to run back and towards the entrance, but you can repeat the process once you go the way. Works great for first playthrough in New Game Plus. He has more defense and life will likely kill you with one hit. At generally low level, possible to stand on the opposite side, blah, blah, blah. The Poison Cloud Strategy, here we go. It's best used if you get him stuck somewhere for a while or in combination with Stealth Strategy. If you're using Stealth, you move yourself with Poison Cloud. It'll never move or attack. Cast Soul Thirst and use the Ring of Avarice to maximize souls since you don't need a defense ring. Use a Thief Ring and if you have it, Cloak to get past him while hugging the right wall. Oh, Thief Ring and you have to Cloak. Yeah, I ain't never done none of that. <laughs> then there's the glitch method with the bow. First you fight quickly, you bring along some holy arrows. When you enter a fog door, you'll notice a ribcage to your right and a spine to your left. That's a ribcage. Fire an arrow at Flame Lurker to get its attention. And when it starts moving in your direction, sprint away from the cage and run around the spine, putting it between you and Flame Lurker. Back yourself into a corner and make sure you keep Flame Lurker's attention by either firing, blah, blah, blah. Its pathfinding ability is terrible, so it shouldn't be able to reach you. As long as you make sure you stay in the corner, no one should hit you. This will not work on North American versions. <laughs> the pathfinding was corrected. In other words, they fixed the glitch, and he will find a way around to kill you. But the method that I did, one player, yeah. he gets stuck. Two players, apparently, you know, I guess. He grows a brain. Yeah. It says here, well, if you adapt the strategy by luring it behind the spine, immediately sprinting back to the ribcage, it seems to get stuck, allowing you to free kill it with arrows. Yep. Oh. Well then. Maybe I should get rid of but the yeah, Moonlight Sword. I've, I've never fought this guy head on. Ever. It's just too much work. And I've always killed him in one try. Ever since that, I learned how to do this. Thank you. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. Oh, well, he's halfway through his health now. You know what? Let's get a little crazy. Uh oh, what are we gonna do? Insanity cal catalyst. Okay. And what will that do? Supposed to amplify my magic. Let's see how true that is. It seems to make the the hit, the hit damage a little run a little faster. It's made yeah, it. I know this guy. I'm so tempted on hitting him with an arrow, but I know that's gonna result into bad things. So yeah, I think we're fine. And now I'm gonna see if I can bring up a little bit more. Oh, well, you know, it's a little bit faster. Oh, damn, I'm listening to the music now of this boss fight. And I can see the inspiration they got for phase two of, uh, Excuse me. phase two of, uh, Fortis X. I'm listening to it now. I'm like, oh, with the Gregorian chance and everything, the chord progression is similar, somewhat similar to, uh, Fortis X's, uh, second phase. Fortis X, so... And then you know, with the strings the and new, everything. 
the new Gears of War? Oh, interestingly enough, it takes place. Because when I saw it, it looks cool. It takes place after Gears of War Judgment, which was the first prequel game. And then, like, it takes place after that game and right before the first Gears of War. My only thing is, why does it look like fucking uh, Fortnite? I don't know. But I know that canonically, they, they set the events to after Judgment and right before uh, the first game. So I'm like, oh, okay, so that way we get to see Marcus Phoenix and Dominic uh, before Emergence Day itself. And the events that led up to Emergence Day. Because one thing that they did with um, Judgment is that you got to play with Bird and some of the other guys, but you didn't play with Phoenix. And no real explanation of how Emergence Day actually went down. Mm. Uh, other than what we knew from the very beginning of the first game. But to have a game that actually talks about, you know, that deals with everything leading into it, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, man. My character's looking around, he's like, man, you really dealing with this shit, huh? Good thing I got a thief ring on. And a flame resistance ring, too. Not that at least. Yep. On paper, two handing it, I hit like 472 with the regalia. That's on paper. Damn. Oof. Well. Got him in phase two. We're just, we're just watching him just bake. Just bake. I'm gonna have fun editing this on iMovie for real. I'm gonna be like, damn, I'm gonna have to fast forward this whole process of the fight <laughs> and then bring it down to like the last minute just to watch him die. Like, keep it normal speed when we first do this process and then fast forward as all this goes by and then just slow it back to normal speed at the very moment where we kill him in the final minute. This is going to be fun to edit. It's going to be hilarious. It's just, you know, you just barbecue him at this point. It's crazy that, like, it really is until Elden Ring where you actually have the ability to actually hit, like, 1,000 with a freaking weapon. Because even Dark Souls, oh, you got a great sword? Yeah, the highest you're gonna hit is like close to 600 if you're lucky. And that's at best if you're hitting 600 on the deer, which is your absolute best case scenario. When I see people like playing with, like, you know, using like Uchi Katana or any other like katana based uh, weapons. I'm like, oh god, no. I like the speed, but it, it makes fights take too long. I'm like, I, I ain't trying to sit here and have a 20 minute marathon. This is enough right here. I mean, it could have been worse. This, this could have been freaking a lot. But luckily, you managed to glitch it. <laughs> we, and uh, it didn't take long at all. Yeah. Honestly, every time I think about Medir, that's like trauma. An underlying, a underlying trauma and anxiety that I feel. I'm just like, oh, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I went dude. through it. Oh, don't worry. You know what you do to reignite that again? Just watch Godzilla Minus One on Netflix. Oh yeah, I still gotta watch that shit. It's it's <clears> good. <throat> but every time Godzilla showed his ass up to do what he does, I'm not. I feel like I'm not even looking at Godzilla. I feel like I'm looking at Medir. And I start hearing Medir's boss music playing in my head. And it's like, damn, I'm really traumatized now. So when do we hit him? <laughs> Man, we're just having him just sit there. Yo, I've never seen anyone sit there and whiff up a fart. 
Yo, this guy whips a fart like a champ. Ah. Like, he's just... He's there. Ah. Apeste. Apeste. Ay, que bueno. Ah. Uy, apesta región. This is hilarious. Oh, my God. Man, this is a long ass fight. <clears throat> All because we're having him get farted to death. Yo, he, he it's, it's like uh, he hung out with Hitler and ended up uh, being put in the gas chamber in the worst way possible. So he can pull Tekken combos in Shadow of the Earth Tree. Oh, dude, I saw that. Dude, I can't wait to use the Beast Claws and, and the martial arts stuff. I love to fuck around with that. Man, I, I, would, I would love them to. Just have even if it's just a DLC where you could do like a Devil May Cry type shit. Yeah. Because Devil Dude, May Cry is like, what are the combos? Whatever you come up with, that's the fucking combo. Dude, I, I wish we would get like a Souls like game that does exactly that. Fight just like Devil May Cry. Or you can do crazy wild combos. Based on weapons, but then again, to be like, oh, it's not so good. I'm pretty sure that you'll be doing a bunch of combos and you still get one shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what the so you know, all of a sudden, like, boom, you died. You died. Yeah. I'm just still cracking up about how Miyazaki was like, you know, to complete uh, Elden Ring. He's like, oh, I should take, you know, about 30 hours, but then again, I'm better than than most Souls players. I'm like, this motherfucker, this guy got some balls. I think um, the statistics is funny because it's like, oh, X amount of Souls players is like, oh, I'm like, yeah, those aren't Souls players. There's only like a few percentage that are like the players. Everyone now, else what, bought the game, bought the game because of a hype. Now the funny shit is that 62 percent of Elden Ring players have never beaten Mog. I'm like, what the hell? 62 percent? You telling me? With all the guys that are out there and all the tools at your disposal, 62 percent have yet to beat Mog. Come on now. And getting Tim is the dumbest, easiest crap you can do. And there's two ways. You can either do it the long way, you know. You know, go into the snow fields, you know, mid-late game. Or just do the Vare Quest sign. You get a quick one-shot trip there. Nice and easy. Well, I didn't have online privileges when I first fought Mode. And I beat him the first time I walked into the, the arena. And wow, that's wild. Oh. What happened was that I, I, I found that um, the one that uh, nulls his uh, his power. What is it called? The flask. Wait, who? What's the? There's a flask that it, it basically. Uh, oh, the crimson tear. Uh, the crimson yeah. tear for the physic. Yeah, I accidentally had that equipped. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I, yep, and it negates his um, nihils. Yeah, I didn't know that. I just had it equipped, and then I went to fight him, and I drunk the shit. And then when he did his stuff, it just it didn't work on me, and I managed to beat him. Oh boy, so. he's on his final phase. You saw that? His body lit up even oh, more. Yeah. So Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is in uh, Yakuza. Wait, they're calling him Miracle Johnson. Miracle Johnson. Okay. Miracle Johnson. <laughs> Johnson Miragos. Now I'm waiting for this boss just to turn around like, Alright, I've had enough of your shit. Mira, ya me cansé con los pedos, coño. Too much, too much farting. Oh, that reminds me. I went back to work uh, last night, uh, but I ended up covering a shift at another store so I could get some hours. And, um... Uh, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, okay, this is a nice looking store, but oh my god, the layout of where everything for stocking was, I was like, what the hell is this shit? Seriously. Like, are you serious, bro? And then, uh, funny, I was, I was talking to the, uh, one of the supervisors, I was like, Ozzy, 
is it just me? But why is McClane so dang good to you guys when it comes to dropping stuff off on truck night? I mean, yeah, they were late as hell, but why were they so nice? He's like, we've been here for six years, and they know we won't put up with it. I was like, wait, you guys can actually do something about that? He's like, yeah. Every time, because before they used to do that thing where every time they drop stuff off, instead of it, you know, being safe, right? You know, like having your totes at least no more than six feet high and the water being neatly placed or whatever. McLean had a thing where they would always um, just drop stuff off in a sloppy manner, having the totes all the way like over almost 10 feet high and stuff. Like, what the hell? Like, that, that violates safety standards. And apparently, uh, Ozzy had told me that if they ever do that, all your supervisor has to do is write up a ticket and send it to corporate. And they will chew their asses out for it. And I was like, damn, we need to do that in my store then. Because shit. All right, so do we just fuck oh, him wait. up now? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I, I want to get this over. I don't want this to get fucked up. Like, how much until we can go ahead and bonk him? I don't know, because he's tanky as fuck. I'd rather just finish it Yo, like for this. real, he is mega tank. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Apparently, if we kill him, world tendency uh, goes wider by like 45%, some shit like that. I was like, oh, is that all it takes? I'm like, Damn, yeah. I didn't, I didn't know you could work out, get skinny, and get bigger titties. Wow. I mean, I don't know. Wow. Wow. The plus forty-five percent white world tendency, if you beat the armor spider, and then plus forty-five percent more if you beat this asshole. But damn. I know when I used the uh, the Wrath of God on him, it hit him like 354. I was like, oh, okay. And then that means I gotta boost up my faith a little more so he can do more damage. Shit ever for real. He just he's just not moving. We, we just watch him just you know. Miyazaki just didn't care to patch that far enough. The snail yeah, my... has a grab. <clears throat> huh? The snail in the uh, in Elden Ring has a grab. I know that. This happened to me. Oh, them snails? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck them. Seriously. Fuck them. I remember when I went to grab the, uh... I the, 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 the Black Raptor uh, feathers or whatever. The, the armor piece. I didn't realize there was a boss in there that I had not fought. And then I just... I was like, you know what? Let me just go in and kill him. Uh yeah. What in the name of only fans is this? Uh, could be worse. Bedir with Millennia's moveset. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That'll be fucking horrible. You know, imagine if beating Madeir was this easy, where you could glitch his AI somewhat and this happened. No, Madeir's a beast, too. Yep. <laughs> Thank God there was never a glitch for Madeir. It's like, damn, you just... And, Wait, like, what? everyone that complains about... 
Oh, summons and co-op. I'm like, bro, with Madeir, summoning a co-op means the game gets twice, uh, the fight gets twice as hard. So in other words, when we actually beat Madeir, we actually beat him at his absolute hardest. Should we go ahead and just swing at him since he's almost dead? Just running, just let it die, because otherwise, okay, all this is for nothing. Let's get it over with. Okay. Impatient, <laughs> bonk! I want bonk. to hit him. <laughs> My character's like, come on, man. I just want to touch him with my magic stick just once. No diddy. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Did you just die? Maybe. He asked me to pick black or white. Oh. For the box. Yeah, we just watch him just roast his death. Uh... God damn, he's tanky as hell. This ain't no 3,000 HP. Kiss my ass. Or oh, 4,000 HP. It feels like freaking... His resistance is way up it. there. Not like we could throw water at him. <laughs> ah, I just died. <laughs> it's like, Yo, really? imagine they introduced that in Shadow of the Earth Tree. It'd be like, you know what? <clears throat> Here's a new one. Wetness as a as a stat proc. Like, like oh, you're fighting a, a freaking fire giant or a fire boss or whatever. Look, here's a new spell that imbues you your weapon with water, and then you can wet them and like just, you know. That sounds like Monster Hunter. Oh, you can do that, in Monster Hunter. That sounds great. You got no. You got water water uh, weapons. Speaking of which, did you see the trailer to the new uh, Monster World game? I mean, yes. Monster Hunter game? Yes. Dude, it looks, looks really so good. good. It looks so good. Like, I was like, yo, this looks fire. Whenever I see these bitches out here on the internet going, oh, 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 there's no games to play. There's plenty of good games to play. Yeah, I just need to stop right. bitching. There's a bunch of free ones too. <clears throat> that V Rising uh, game actually looks pretty cool too. So if you're just playing Dave the Diver, it's a really different game, but it looks fucking fun. I remember watching uh, one of my friends on Twitch uh, play. Uh, uh, what was it? Daylight Dies or something like that. It's like a survivor oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, they had, that one's and, pretty sick. And they were playing the one where, uh, which well, I, I guess it had the Resident Evil Three themed shit on it. Bro, it was wild. Like I was like, I was having heart attacks just watching the damn thing. I was like, I was like, damn, they going through it for real. They're trying to survive the nemesis, trying to wreck through a wall. Every time you think you manage to hide yourself, guess what? He can rip you right out of the very place you're hiding from and just beat you to death. And then if you're trying to like move a crank thing or whatever, then you have to worry about zombies coming after you while you're cranking the thing. There's no uh, there's no uh, iframes, you know, to save you either. I was like, oh man, this is like your iframes are equivalent to Dark Souls too. You know, survival horror. I was like, sweet jeez. Can we do it? Uh, let me just take off my insanity catalyst so I'm not fucked over. Yeah. And Northern Regalia. There we go. Let the bonking begin. <laughs> Everything I wanted to do this whole damn fight. <laughs> Oh, that felt so good. Dude, that death was retarded. Like, oh. <laughs> I just hit him once like it's freaking One Punch Man. It was game over. It reminds me of uh, Bloodborne when you put your fucking fist up the pig's ass. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, wait, that's right. Uh, this bastard's up next, right? The, uh... No, wait. Why would I level up when I can buy some freaking ephemeral eyes from Patches? I almost forgot yeah. all oh, about that. Oh, enfermero. Oh, de lo enfermero. Oh, de ephemerio. Wait, where is Patches? Patches, where'd you go? You asshole. Ah, uh, darn, he went to the fourth world. That's what happened. Oh boy, this is not gonna be fun. Los ojos del enfermero. This means one thing, I'm gonna have to just level up. So... I'll boost my magic a wee bit. After any damn way. Yeah, I'm finished. Damn. Damn. He's nowhere to be found. Shit. Yeah, that means Patches is in, uh. The world. In, in, the, in the. You know where Umbasa Man is at. Alright. Uh, 